Hello everyone, my name is Lamarck and in this video I'm going to tell you all secrets about weapons, show you some hidden weapons. Let's have a deal, you're watching this video till the end and if you didn't know at least 3 facts from this video, you're pressing like, writing comment and subscribing on my channel. We will start with some easy facts and end with some really unknown things. Let's begin. We will start with the famous story about the alien gun and OX bad code. So let's begin to this story. Some time ago both of these weapons were playable online, so you got the weapon in the campaign and could play in the multiplayer with it. The damage of the pistol wasn't that big and it was really inaccurate, so it wasn't even popular. Uh, but it was a good souvenir from the campaign. And with the bad code, situation was much more interesting, because before the version 16.4 it was just an overpowered weapon, players were playing with it, not because of the damage, the damage was very low, the rock jump ability of this weapon was the best in the game and developers in the version 16.4 deleted this ability and it uh, became unplayable, and uh, then developers just deleted this weapon because it was unplayable. And there is a little easter egg in the description of the bad code in the gallery, it's the binary code and if you'll translate it, you will get PG3D. There are lots of things which are mostly known, but I cannot not mention it, so let's talk about them briefly. The first thing is the old weapons upgrade, when you upgraded weapons in the old versions, they were changing their models, as you can see on the screenshots, and uh, developers deleted this feature because uh, they wanted to save the memory on your phones. In the future, when the developers will make package system for Pixelgun 3D, this feature can be returned. Social Uzi is one of the rarest weapons in Pixelgun 3D, it was obtainable only in the old versions by connecting your Twitter account to Pixelgun 3D account. But why is this weapon so rare? There are two answers. The first of them is that developers were never selling this weapon again. And the second, lots of the players lost these weapons because they were hacking and uh, when the developers updated the anti-cheat, they just lost their progress and uh, lost these weapons. By the way, I also lost my social loss because of this. And the last thing before we came to the more interesting facts is this one, about the smart bazooka and uh, about the judge. Here you can see judge, it was a weapon with insanely cool mechanic which you can see on your screen, it was insanely powerful and people mostly hated it because uh, someone could just hit and uh, killing everyone with one shot with this weapon. And the smart bullet bazooka was like a cannon which is shooting with the cyber beast. In my opinion, just overpowered and toxic weapon. There were also some weapons with this mechanic, but uh, they are not as interesting as this one. The story ended good, developers deleted these weapons and players got their compensation. Almost forgot about Desert Fighter. February 22nd, at around 8 am Eastern Standard Time. Desert Fighter became available for everyone to buy in the shop for 200 coins. It was available only for 5 or 10 minutes and uh, it had such a characteristics. Then it was removed and never appeared again. That means that that 5 or 10 minutes was the only option to get it in the honest way. From the interesting facts, it has its own number in gallery, but it's unavailable in gallery right now, the number is 700. Also the broken characteristics were fixed and uh, there is an opinion in the community that this weapon and the iron sword were created to catch hackers. And uh, that is the only answer for what developers added these weapons in the game. And the fact that Desert Fighter uh, appeared in the shop was just a mistake. Warning, warning, pretty moment incoming. <laughs> Right now we know who is him, and yes, I like what I see. Special for this video, I asked the old game designer, which is not working on Pixelgun 3D at the moment, uh, about this weapon. W what is that? And uh, that is Overseer, not that Overseer which is the sniper rifle. The sniper, uh, the sniper rifle appeared later than this one. And uh, yes, it looks like a volcano heart. There is a reason why. 
The answer of the developers is that this is just the first version of this weapon and then the developers decided to make a battle pass and for this weapon to fit the theme of the battle pass they remade the skin. So that is all the truth about this weapon. One more interesting weapon, Water Toy Pistol. It has its own page on the Pixel Gun Wiki, but since this weapon is unreleased, there are not lots of information about it. Most likely this weapon was designed for the sandbox, but was not released for some reason. Here you can see its render, it looks interesting. Also, seriously, Andy made the fun animation of shooting from this weapon. I can't just not show you it. Looks really amazing, so after this video you can just press on his avatar and go on his channel. Also, I want to admit that this reloading looks like the reloading of the alien pistol. I really doubt that you remember Lucky Strike, but Lucky Strike looks amazing. Yes, that is the clone of the last kiss, which was made uh, just for Saint Patrick's Day. It was the 9.3.1 update. Only in this version of the game this weapon was playable. Let's go to the shop and there we see that there is Lucky Strike and Last Kiss. Models of both of the weapons are completely different. Look at the crosshair, look at the barrel, uh, look at the skin at least. And yes, in that time all shotguns had a rear damage attribute. The price of the weapon was 255 coins, but as I already said, the story of this weapon was very short and sad and the, after the version 9.3.1, developers just deleted it from the game without any information why. Rest in peace, legend. You maybe don't know, but developers deleted the entire set from Pixel Gun 3D and that is a paintball set. And uh, unfortunately, from the paintball weapons, right now we have only this and uh, uh, God, uh, 600 likes under this video and I'm upgrading this to mythical. This set was available only in the version 12.0 and only in the spleef mode. As you can see, you could play with the pistol or, for jams, buy something more powerful. In my opinion, playing with heavy weapons has more variation, but this concept still is very interesting. But guys, the last fact is really interesting, what if I will tell you about the weapon which was never released? Some time ago I found an article which is written by the developers and uh, in it developers told the players and other people who are just interested in the game development how are they making weapons and uh, other content for Pixel Gun 3D. And here you can see the unreleased weapon, developers just rejected it. But why was this weapon rejected? Because after the playtests, the weapon seemed too boring for the developers and uh, I agree with them, because the axe thrower, and that is the original name of this weapon, is uh, like a combat spinner thrower, but with the change it spinner to axe. This weapon was completed, it had all animations and other things to be tested, but the fun fact, this weapon was changed to the Tor Hammer. And after this information, if you know what is Tor Hammer, you think that the axe thrower is not that bad choice. Thank you for watching this video till the end. So what about our deal? Press the like button under this video, comment it and uh, subscribe to my channel. Ah, oh, God, that was really hard to do.